take point. We gotta stop the Hellgas breaking through our lines and get us out of this alive. Yes, sir! Killzone had a tough start out of the gate, but most of it was because of the ungodly amount of hype the game received. Killzone was pretty much guaranteed to deliver an engaging story with solid gameplay, cure every form of cancer, and right the US economy. Okay, maybe it wasn't that extreme, but fans were told that it would turn the PS2 online around and make it rival Xbox Live. Now, Killzone failed to live up to the hype and wasn't the Halo killer it was billed to be, but what it is is a very good game and probably the best first person shooter on the PS2. Killzone takes place on the planet Vectra. The planet is being invaded by the Hellgas, a strange military society. Because their home planet is so toxic, they are forced to wear breathing devices, which gives them this eerie look. So you are out to stop the invasion and save your planet. The story is pretty basic, but what it does is give you a reason to fire your gun. The shooting is a big part of the game, and thankfully, it is as solid as can be. Every gun feels the way you imagine it should, with the assault rifle kicking a little to the grenade launchers causing some real damage. The shooting is great, but that is not what makes Killzone one of the best shooters. It is the size of the game and also the detailed world it puts you in. Before each mission begins, you select which character you want to be. You choose the assault rifle grunt Templar, the heavy assault Rico, the stealthy sniper Luger, or the balanced half Hellgast Haka. Choosing either one will give you a very different experience from choosing another, thus making the game like four games in one. But they don't do this just to extend the length of the game, because it's already pretty big. I got to the point where most shooters end, and I thought I had reached the last mission, only to realize that I was just a little over halfway done. This length gives the game a chance to show off some really great looking locations. Instead of the gray and dark urban environments, you will actually get to see jungles, mountains, and even outer space. And all the locations look great with some of the best graphics on the PS2. Everything is detailed and lush with a dark tone, but it really makes you feel like you're on another planet. I really only had a few complaints with this game. One is, while the Hellgast are great enemies with their creepy red eyes and gas masks like the Russians and Top Gun, they quickly become generic. This is my complaint, and that is there is not enough enemy variety. You will be shooting the same Hellgast soldiers over and over again, rarely with them having different equipment. It gets a little repetitive, but not enough to hold the game back. Also, the online is really lacking mostly because there's only one good map. But this was back when shooters were about the single player for me, so it didn't hurt my opinion, but today it would be a deal breaker. With the impossible expectations, Killzone was almost destined to fail before it was even released. Sure, it didn't live up to what was promised, but that didn't change the fact that this is still one of the best shooters on the PS2 in a great time playing, even today. Watch your back. Gun clear. 